Today's uh, collection selection is actually this year's official birthday knife in that it's the knife I got, uh, the one knife I got as a birthday present this year. And this is the uh, World War I era, Spanish-American War era, Collins machete. <clears throat> a U.S. Army uh, issued machete. And uh, here, I got this from my amazing, awesome brother. And, uh, Use. Terrible. This thing is sharp. I just sliced some paper with it. It's sharp. It's the original real deal. It's heavy. This is about a quarter inch thick. Maybe, yeah, about a quarter inch thick. And it's just a wicked chopper. Now, I think this must have been, this design must have been influenced by uh, the U.S. Army occupation in the Philippines because it's got that sort of uh, sort of Filipino bolo angle, the angle of the handle to the blade. And uh, it's just all business. I, 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 You could clear some very heavy brush with this and trees and saplings and stuff. It's so heavy and thick. I mean, I don't even imagine it would be very good at, at light machete work. Uh, you could definitely, and not to be macabre, but you could easily lop off a limb with this thing. I mean, just easily. Uh, so I, I guess this did, uh, this did a lot of different duty, but I'll tell you one thing, it's heavy. I mean, it is heavy. And when you think about everything else a soldier was carrying back in the day, wearing heavy canvas and wool clothes, probably wet with sweat and rain and crap, and then every, every bit of kit they had was heavy. And then to add this like, two and a half pound knife uh, to it, amazing, amazing. What? people have endured and I don't know this thing is amazing so anyway thank you Vic my brother always gets me amazing gifts and this is definitely no exception this is gonna hang on my wall of fame and that's a bunch of um, Filipino knives and swords that were bringbacks by US uh, GIs and there you have it the Collins machete World War one and Spanish-American War era <laughs>